because I got some time to kill. No lessons to prep for because it's test week at junior high schools. That pretty much means I come to class and prep all different types of lessons and different crafts and art stuff for my kids to do, but don't have any classes to teach. It's kind of nice. Anyway, today I wanted to go ahead and talk about kind of a big problem Japan's having right now, and that is a decline in population. You've probably read about it if you keep up with any kind of news at all about Japan. Slowly each year, our population here is declining to such an intense point that by 2050, they predict the population of Japan will actually be cut in half. So I'd have to say that's a pretty extreme, right? Your entire population cut in half. Um, there's many, many different reasons for this, and unfortunately, there are reasons that I'm dealing with right now. There are issues that I'm dealing with right now. And uh, first of all, one of them is the cost of life in Japan is extremely expensive, and it's going up. Um, once again, our taxes are being raised, and the cost of electricity is being raised due to problems TEPCO created for themselves, and because they did not follow regulations during the Fukushima earthquake and caused a lot of problems for people everywhere in Japan, we now have to pay for their big mistake. And it really sucks. Um, I can't say I'm very happy with that at all. I don't think it's fair, and I think our government should regulate them rather than regulate the population. Um, on top of that, we're looking at a tax increase. Our taxes are going to be increasing from 5% to 8%, and then by 2015, they'll be increasing to 10%. Um, you've got to think about how this takes a huge toll on everything you're going to buy in Japan, even up to transportation costs. If taxes go up on everything, that means that the price of everything in general will go up. And that's not just because of the taxes, that's actually because people need to charge more in order for their businesses to survive. Like I said, this is going to cause things like even minor stuff like transportation um, and again the cost of living to go up. On top of that, the government offers little to no incentives to people having children. They've tried to start giving out a little bit of money here and there at different wards for having a kid for the first three years of that kid's life, but it's a pathetic amount. Uh, you know, Sanju, Nijuman depending on how much money you make. And on top of that, some of the districts have put a salary cap on it, so some people who are wealthy enough to have a good amount of children don't want to do it because they're cut out of that incentive. Uh, so it's a lot of backward thinking, if you ask me. Personally, my opinion is it's backward thinking. The government knows it has this problem, doesn't do anything about it, but complains about it constantly in the media. Well, if they really are going to start caring about their citizens, they've got to stop being stubborn and they've got to start actually lending a hand to people, making big companies like TEPCO be regulated to the point where we don't pay the penalties when they make big mistakes. Aside from that, they need to reduce the cost of living. Not just with little things like tax, but with things like making sure we can get imports from other countries for cheap. Another thing the government's trying to stop right now is cheaper imports from other countries because you've got to remember almost 70% of Japan's food is imported only 30% is produced in country so we pay huge amounts right now there's a bill trying to be passed that will make the import of more foods available to us along with cheaper prices and competitive prices to the Japanese prices of course this means Japanese farmers and those who market in Japan will have to face themselves having to make lower prices and that's what makes them mad about this, and that's why they're trying to fight it. And unfortunately, this is another part where they're supporting big government, big companies are supporting big government, and they're again caring only about themselves and not about the people of their country. I, for one, hope that in the future we can continue to help the population grow here. I myself have one child and a second child on the way, so I'm doing my part. I'd like to know what Japanese government is doing to help us increase the population. Until next time, I'm Unrested. This is JFAC.